How's it going, guys? Difficult question for biochemistry. We're handing you type 2 diabetes mellitus here. We're not trying to make that hard. But then we ask you difficult enzyme stuff in terms of activities up or down. Now, in terms of glycerol kinase, this is what you need to know. Okay, it's asking you a simile. This isn't me trying to be slick, all right? When we have gluconeogenesis and we want to make glucose from non-glucose sources, one of the ways we can do that is by converting triglycerides down into glucose. You say, well, how is that possible that we can make glucose from fat? I'll tell you. TGAs, what are they made of? Three fatty acids and a glycerol. Okay, three fatty acids and a monoacylglycerol. Now, the monoacylglycerol, when you break down a TGA, we can use glycerol kinase to convert that glycerol over into dihydroxyacetone phosphate in the glycolytic cycle. Okay, DHAP, and that can go back up to glucose. So this is what you got to know, and the US only wants you to know this. Glycerol kinase is the biochemical bridge. It's the link between how we get TGAs over to glucose. So if we have insulin resistance, we're going to be the equivalent of the fasting state. It's as though insulin is low. That's how we approach this question. So we would expect more gluconeogenesis glycerol kinase activity is increased. So we're looking at these first four answers here. Hormone sensitive lipase, that enzyme is going to bring fat from the adipocyte out into the blood for lipolysis, okay? There's more involved mechanisms, waste of time, okay? What I want you to know is that lipoprotein lipase brings fat from the blood into the adipocyte That'll be increased when insulin is high in the fed state and we want storage of fat and fatty acid synthesis. In contrast, if epinephrine's high, cortisol's high, glucagon's high, and we want fat liberation, we want to use it for energy, if we're in the fasting state, we're going to have hormone sensitive lipase bring fat from the adipocyte out into the blood. So in this case, it's as though insulin is low because we have insulin resistance. So we're gonna have increased hormone sensitive lipase activity. So we're looking at these top two answers here. Glucokinase is the easier one. Glucokinase is the hexokinase variant in the liver. It's got a higher KM, less affinity for glucose, higher Vmax, greater saturation capacity for glucose. So when insulin is high and it's reducing blood glucose levels, it's not limited to upregulation of GLUT4 on skeletal muscle and adipose tissue where glucose is pulled out of the blood. Glucokinase, it's activated in the liver by insulin. So when blood glucose is high, we are able to pull that glucose into the liver and then it's stored as glycogen. Okay, that's in the fed state. But we have insulin resistance as though insulin is low. So we're gonna have decreased glucokinase activity. So our correct answer is B. Okay, so we have increased Lipolysis, increased conversion of TGAs, where the monoacylglycerol is going to go down into glucose. Glycerol kinase activity is increased. We've got more fat liberation, more fat release from adipocytes into the blood for utilization. So we have increased hormone sensitive lipase activity, and we'd have decreased lipoprotein lipase activity. And then we've got decreased glucokinase activity because we'd be having less glycolysis more gluconeogenesis. Correct answer. You know the deal when team made more content and subscription. Appreciate your time. That's it.